Hi everyone, I'm Brandon Edgerly, safety specialist. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about blind spots that occur within and around heavy equipment. On almost all of our jobs, we have at least one piece of heavy equipment, but many of us haven't sat in the cab to actually get an understanding of what the operator can or cannot see. And that's exactly what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to take a look at a front end loader, a skid steer, and a telescoping boom forklift. Let's go check it out. From the operator's seat, whenever any worker approaches the left side of the vehicle, the rollover protection system impedes the vision of the worker. As the worker now travels to the rear of the forklift, the rollover protection system creates another blind spot we most commonly see when people approach the vehicle at a 45 degree angle. The third most common blind spot lies within being directly behind the vehicle. The final blind spots are created from the three components of the forklift, the mirror, the windshield wiper, and the carriage. Many people assume that the operator of a front end loader is at a greater advantage because of how high they sit, but blind spots still exist in and around the entire piece of equipment. As the worker approaches the rear of the loader, it creates a major blind spot. The operator may only be able to see the upper extremities of the worker as they move further away from the vehicle. As the worker now moves to the right of the piece of equipment, the exhaust yet again serves as another blind spot. You can see something as small as a windshield wiper creates a major blind spot so large that the worker disappears from the operator's view. The skid steer is the most difficult to see from when sitting within the cab. Even as the worker approaches the skid steer from the front, the roller protection system and ignition panel is large enough to block the worker entirely. The entire rear of the skid steer is a major blind spot. Never approach the skid steer from the rear. It's difficult for the operator to move around and to turn and see what is behind them. Now that we have a better understanding of blind spots in and around heavy equipment, be sure to always make eye contact with the operator. Offer a physical gesture to ensure that you've been seen. Another best practice when you and your crews are working alongside heavy equipment is to collaborate pre-task plans. Communicate the travel paths of the equipment and where people and material are gonna be located. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you out there.